so the Mount Elgon region is a, is, is a typical area where on the one hand you see lots of challenges around environmental degradation and climate change and on the other hand there's a lot of opportunity for landscape restoration and livelihoods improvements, right? I mean sometimes I joke with my, uh, with my colleagues but when it rains in Bududa it floods in Bulambuli and Butaleja um, and so there is a direct correlation between environmental degradation uh, and climate change. So when the environment is already degraded and there's these very heavy rains which may have been exacerbated by climate change, it causes all these problems in the Mount Elgon area. And luckily between uh, government efforts and other projects that are already being implemented in the Mount Elgon area, there's great opportunities to restore landscapes, to stabilize slopes, uh, to reduce tree cutting, for example, by improving uh, livelihoods from agroforestry systems. So there's an opportunity there to work uh, along the whole watershed to improve uh, safety for the people on top of the mountain but also the lower the flood risk um, um, of the lower lying districts so that you know long term and, and the Restore Africa project will never be able to achieve this in and of itself but all of us together under the leadership of the government of Uganda hopefully we will be able to reduce those risks of the landslides, landslides and the floods that we've seen over the past years. From northern Uganda to Eastern Uganda, to Central Uganda, to Midwest, 50% of the land is degraded. 10% of the land is severely degraded. We are not going to be taking anybody's land, and we are not going to be taking anybody's tree, we are not going to be taking anybody's fruit. The project primarily is for the benefit of communities, and it is led by the communities. The communities are going to work with the consortium partners to plan land management plans that are for their own benefit. That we still have challenges, but there are also some attempts by government to respond to the challenge. And today, as we launch this program, it is also adding on the already existing government efforts. 